students this is part 5 of the excretory system in this part we will discuss the disorders of the excretory system now our excretory system is very important in maintaining homeostasis there are certain conditions which can affect the excretory system we will discuss some of these common disorders the first being UTI, that is urinary tract infection. It is a very common disorder. If the bladder has become infected, it is known as cystitis. If the urethra is infected, it is called urethritis. UTI is more common in women than men because of differences in, their, in the anatomy. Symptoms include painful urination, burning sensation, frequent urination, even if no urine is present, and bloody or brown urine. This can lead to chills, fevers, nausea, vomiting, and upper abdominal tenderness. Result when an infection reaches the kidneys and becomes known. Kidney infections result when an infection reaches the kidneys and becomes known as pyelonephritis common causes can be infection from elsewhere in the body or obstruction of the prostate can, uh, gland usually in older men for children infection can be caused by the tube that drains urine from the kidneys and the bladder kidney stones are also common kidney disorder they form when chemicals in the urine precipitate out and form crystals. The most common crystals are from calcium oxalate, while others could be from uric acid and cysteine. Kidney stones are more common in men than women and can recur at any time. Factors such as recurrent urinary blood infection, insufficient water intake and consumption, Lower levels of physical activity and too much vitamin C and D intake can lead to kidney stones. One of the best ways to decrease, decrease the occurrence of stones is to drink lots of water and to change your dietary habits. Symptoms include severe back or abdomen pain, etc. Treatment may vary from letting the stones pass through the urinary tract to ultrasound shock to disintegrate the stones to small size and that can be passed through the urinary tract. Thank you.